Right, I'm throwing travel mugs. That one is the correct width to fit the lids. So I'm just going to set up the laser so that I get a good indication while I'm throwing um, where correct is. Still check it with my more precise guide as I go, but um, this makes it a bit easier. And what I wanted to talk about while I was throwing was um, the Ceramics Congress, which some of you might have, you might already know about, or might have attended previous ones, but if not, it's basically an online ceramics meetup, a bit like, I imagine, because I haven't ever been, NSECA would be. But um, it's a, an online only event, that's been running for a few years now and the format I think I believe it still is is that um, a bunch of potters from around the world will create video workshops on a subject that they know something about and then over the course of a few days and this, this year's is coming up in about two weeks two and a bit weeks over a few days um, you can virtually attend those workshops as well as live things and Q&A's uh, and just kind of social events. I think there's a few live throwing challenges and the like. Um, I, were, I had a video in the first one so I've been kind of following along well, I believe it's the first one pretty much since its inception, if I'm right about that. Um, and it was on slip decoration. I think actually you can get access to all the previous videos. You could go and watch my video. Um, and I, because <laughs> I, I ran out of things to say before I'd used all the allotted time, the impulse design was something that I've been mucking about with and then um, actually kind of formalized just so I had more content for my video but um, the event itself is really it's a great because not only are you learning from uh, some of the some fantastic potters there's some the lineup for this one is even better than previous ones but um, a lot of my favourite current potters have done a video uh, one of them at least one of them so far and some of them come back to do more um, but the best bit is it's not just that they're doing video demonstrations because that part will be really interesting in its own right but they're giving the talks from usually from their own studios so you get someone showing you how they make a something but what you actually get is their entire studio process it's not them kind of coming to somewhere else and trying to to, to demonstrate something on the equipment that they've got available there and so you see literally how they have it set up for their own production purposes and I learned so much from that first one not only the things that people were teaching but all the kind of background stuff um, so anyway yeah that's coming up rather soon in a few weeks uh, I'm not entirely sure I think it might be sixty dollars I know previous versions have had several kind of levels so you can attend the initial the first one which is the one that I know best because that was the one I was involved with um, and then the other ones I kind of uh, dipped in and out of but they tend to be like this time of year is I'm just too busy. I have them on in the background in the studio, but I don't um, get a chance to sit down and watch 
every video like I did with that first one. But with the first one, you could watch each of the videos for free when they were live, and then to get them after that, you had to pay. I think now, because the event is so much bigger than it was that first year, it's sort of like an entry fee to get in to watch all the things and attend events, and you might be able to then purchase some of the, the previous content and some um, access to kind of more limited things and so on. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but either way, I will be hanging out there. Um, yeah, so I'll be watching, probably I'll have them on the screen over the other side of the studio and I'll be watching as best I can while throwing, but um, if you've got a bit more time to spare and were disappointed that you couldn't attend any in-person ceramic events this year, check that out. I'll post a link in the video description.